to Whole Body Vibration for Lymphatic Drainage and Circulation today. Great to have you all here. And uh, we're going to have a great class because this is a really important topic. You got to keep your circulation going and Whole Body Vibration is great for it. And I'm so happy to tell you that we do have a special person here today who's going to tell us how well Whole Body Vibration worked for her with um, a problem she had with circulation and lymphatic drainage. So uh, let's see, a few little basic th things. These Zoom classes are every Saturday. They're free right now and they are posted, they're recorded and posted on YouTube afterwards. You can also find them on my website, which is bcvibranthealth.com. And uh, you can get, find a schedule of upcoming classes and links to watch the older classes there, along with lots of other information, right? Okay, and um, I'm Becky Chambers. I've been writing and working with Whole Body Vibration for 20 years, which I thought was a really long time, right? Till um, I just was talking to Dr. Norm Shealy, who has so graciously helped me with my books and many things, and it turns out he's a real guru of energy medicine and a medical doctor, highly respected. He runs pain clinics all over the world and he uses a lot of energy medicine and other techniques. Very successful. Anyway, he told me he's now 86 years old and he has been using whole body vibration for 36 years every day. So uh, longevity, he's still working, happy, active, doing fantastic. He looks terrific and he still sees patients and writes books and it's amazing. It's a bit of a testimony for whole body vibration. Uh, all right. So anything else? Um, please like me on Facebook. Uh, follow me on Facebook and um, comment. It's a great place to interact and you can... Um, Boost, it helps boost the range of this getting out to people all over the place. Uh, so let's see. Can we start with um, Urvashi? Could you tell us about your success with whole body vibration? Okay, sure. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, we would love to hear from you. Maybe speak up. The, it's a little quiet. Okay, I'm trying to speak loudly. Can you hear me now? Yes. Please okay. tell us. All right. Well, I mean, I don't, let me just give you a little bit of the background. I have a disease in my legs called lipedema. And I don't know if anybody knows about it, but it's one of those diseases with, for which so far there's no cure. And what it does, it, it has blobs of fat that kind of float around in your legs. And it's extremely painful. They think it's hormonally related, but they're not sure. And they think it's genetic, but nobody's sure. Uh, also, it increases with major hormonal uh, timings in your life. Like at puberty, it can start or it, it gets worsened. Then each time you have a child, because of the hormonal issues, it gets worse. For me, I was one of the lucky ones. It didn't really get really bad till menopause. And then it's been doing a real number, which means all the time, I feel like I have two big heavy lumps sticking down and pulling me down. So I you start your legs. in my legs, in my legs. And they're always aching. Always, even if I'm sitting down, they're aching. Walking has become impossible. Not for long, that is. I mean, I can just walk slowly and that's it. So I read up. I, I, I was, um, I'm into this natural medicine type thing because Years ago, one of the medical doctors gave me an answer to something that really turned me off. So after that, I started researching and I started whole body vibration last uh, year in, I think it was March, March or something. So I've been doing it now for a year and a half and combination of whole body vibration and a homeopathic medicine, which Becky gave me, um, I am... I would say 80 to 90% better. I have not taken a painkiller in the last two months. Wow. That's Otherwise, cool. without taking ibuprofen or things like that, I could barely function beyond 11 o'clock in the morning. 
I did not realize you were that much better, Urvash. Yeah. I mean, I've done various other things, but a combination of the homeopathy and whole body vibration is what I feel are the two big things. In addition to stretches, yoga stretches, and things like that. Right. But I, I would not live without my whole body vibration, is what I can that's, say. That's fantastic, Urvashi. I'm just uh, so, really happy for you. That's terrific. Really yeah. great. It's, yeah. It really has helped me. And I could tell that this was contributing to making me feel better because once I started it within, a, I would say a few weeks, I started to feel a difference, a certain lightness in the legs, which I had not experienced in years and years and years. Wow. And I'd gone to, you know, I'd gone to gyms and I'd gone to all kinds of exercise places. Uh, I would tell them all about my issues and they would try to give me leg exercises. I mean, all that is important because you do need to strengthen the muscles, but it's the flow of the lymph inside. And I even tried rebounding and by itself, rebounding didn't do very much for me. But once I started this, it was automatically all built in and I just feel better. That's all I can tell you. Yeah, that's uh, fantastic, Urvashi. I just really appreciate you coming on and telling us about it. That's impressive, really, really great testimony for, let's use our vibration machines, folks. <laughs> right? well, it's, a it's a genuine thing. I mean, it really happened. That's why I'm happy to come on and talk about it and tell about it because I feel that it has been like a savior, life savior for me. Uh, that's all I can say about it. I, I don't know too much more. I know what I'm doing. I read up and I've, you know, looked at things and I do my exercises, but of course I'm more focused on the legs. And uh, this uh, lipedema also impacts your arms and the upper arms and all. And mm -hmm. uh, I've recently started to notice that it is impacting my arms now, mm -hmm. not till now. Mm -hmm. um, and even my legs, my legs are looking fatter every day, but they don't ache so much and they don't pain so much. Because it looks like, uh, you know, you're overweight when you have lipedema, but it has nothing to do with weight. And I could lose weight and I would lose it in my waist and in my stomach, and, but it won't go from the legs. Right. So it, yeah. it the doctor I've been reading about it. it. I'm sorry? I've been reading about it a little bit and, and, right. and heard that. So as, as, long today, as, don't, as long as I don't feel constantly achy, it was like I lived right. in pain all the time. Right, right. And, and not, not acute pain, but an achy irritating, annoying pain that you really, no matter what you do, you're feeling it, even if you're sitting still in a chair. Well, I'm so glad that the well, vibration it. helped you. And I'm yeah. going to talk today about what, uh, how to use vibration, particularly for lipedema and lymphedema, which are related, um, health, related conditions. They're not exactly the same. Uh, both have the word edema at the end, and edema means swelling. So lipo, like liposuction, right? It has to do with fat and it's lipedema is the one that Urvashi has. It's where fat is swelling in your legs and in your, um, there's fat deposits in, ending up in your legs and your arms and you get a swelling because of that. Whereas lymphedema is lymph, which is that fluid in our bodies that is taking toxins out of your body uh, and that our, our cells are swimming in is a sort of um, lymph type material. Well, I don't, that might be wrong. The lymph has got the, um, your immune system and the toxins and it's a system of moving those things, toxins out and keeping your immune system going to everything. So, um, Lymphedema is a swelling of the lymph. The lymph is not moving properly. Now they're very related because when you have lipedema, part of the problem, a lot of the problem is toxins not finding their way out of the body properly. And um, it is very affected by hormones as Urvashi says, but um, you can help the situation by moving those toxins out more effectively. And happily, whole body vibration is fantastic for moving your lymph. Now, why is that? Because vibration causes every muscle fiber in your body to tense and relax very rapidly, the same rate the machine is vibrating. 
That's 20 to 50 times per second on the machines that I recommend. So your lymph is different than your blood in many ways, obviously, but the movement. Your, your voice went out. Voice went, yeah. You, we can't hear you. You can't hear me? Now we hear you. Now we do you. There, there was a what? moment we couldn't. Oh, just a moment. Yeah, sometimes the internet goes in and out, and sorry. Okay, Becky, I just want what to- we do about the internet, right? I'm leaving. I need to go, okay? Oh, okay, thank you so I much, everybody. Have, if you have any have other questions, day. I can quickly answer. Otherwise, Anybody I have a question? Work. Judy has a no, question. I'm, I'm saying goodbye. <laughs> oh, okay. okay she's bye. Saying. Bye, everyone. <laughs> nice to see you. Okay. Bye-bye. you later. Bye. Okay. So um, your blood moves by your heart pumping your blood. You got to keep your heart healthy, right? Okay. That you need aerobic exercise. You need vibration for many other aspects of keeping your heart healthy. And, um, you know, has many health benefits that will affect your heart as well. But you also want to add in aerobic exercise that keeps your heart real healthy too. Gives it a workout even more than vibration does. Um, but your lymph, while exercise, regular exercise is great for your lymph, Vibration is fantastic for it because, like I said, all those muscle fibers are tensing and relaxing, and it is the massage of your muscle fibers around the lymph vessels, which are throughout your body, that pushes the lymph forward and out of your body. So it's like, you know, you had a hose and you squeeze it, you can squish the water out. That's, what you, this, that's how the, the lymph is moving around in your body. And... Um, Vibration is very, very effective for that, which is actually ends up being the aspect of vibration that causes most people the most trouble because it's moving toxins through your system. And it means the toxins have to go then through your liver, lungs, kidneys, your major detox organs, and through your skin, out through your skin. And so when you're when you're already not healthy and so your liver is working really hard and is sort of compromised by all the toxins that it's had to deal with, if you give it a sudden big blast of more toxins to deal with because you got on your vibration machine and all that lymph was moving around and sending more toxins through the system, then um, you can feel ill, worse instead of better or, and not necessarily feel better, see the benefits in, of the vibration because you've overloaded your system with toxins. So that's one reason that I tell people to go slow. Start slow, build up slowly. Every time you do vibration, your internal system, including your liver and your organs, are getting stronger because of all those benefits we were talk I, that I was alluding to. Um, so you can gradually build up, but it's much better approach than just sudden big blast. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to show you some exercises and stretches and massages, particularly for the legs and the arms and massaging and helping to move things out because those are particularly good for this whole circulation and lymph. I'm going to, I'm talking about both circulation and lymph together today because they are related. They are both moving these, the, the liquids in your body around and the, the blood is fantastic, the, the circulation, because you're bringing your nutrients to the cells, including oxygen, to all your cells, including your brain, which of course is fantastic. Um, and then the lymph particularly is moving the toxins out. So uh, other things that help about vibration for these, for problems like lipedema and lymphedema, and might explain why Urvashi saw such a huge improvement, 80 to 90%. That's, that kind of blew me away. I did not realize she hadn't told me that. I should just say, oh yeah, I'm feeling better. But <laughs> not that kind of thing. Uh, so I think I'm a big believer in the energy effects. That's, she did say that the homeopathic remedy that I gave her, that's just energy medicine. And she did, when, when we were working on figuring out what she needed, she told me, again, like the vibration, that she saw an immediate reaction to that. She also saw immediate reactions to the homeopathic remedies, so she knows that those work. Plus, when she stops taking it, then she feels worse. So the homeopathic, it's energy medicine. 
That means it's working really on your mind, your, your thoughts and your emotions, but those are powerfully affecting your body because of the mind body connection and because energy is running everything. It's guiding everything in your life, including your physical body. So it's like a blueprint of where your body is going to go. So if you can shift and change that blueprint, then suddenly it's not always trying to go in the same direction and you're not always fighting it so hard, so much. Um, and whole body vibration is energy medicine. Every time you're on there, it's working in a different way and it's not so targeted the way uh, homeopathic remedies are. Homeopathics have to be individually chosen for the individual person because they're very specific for the person. Whole body vibration, everybody. It works for everybody because we're all crystals and liquid crystals. We're 70% liquid. That's that lymph and uh, blood. So it's a huge... Um, when you're on your vibration plate, crystals all have the ability to turn mechanical vibration into electromagnetic energy waves, and your body will, choose, will turn it into the exact energy waves that balance your energy meridians and your chakras. So it's very specific, even though there's nobody there specifically picking out exactly what you need. So uh, it's, it's, I think it's one of the most exciting parts about whole body vibration and might explain how she gets such a phenomenal results when other exercise and massage doesn't give her that kind of results. Um, all right, so I wanted to show you, anybody have any questions they wanna ask me? Yes, no, okay. Then um, we're gonna go to some energy exercises first. Do you remember last week? Oh, you know what I wanna mention too? I did talk to Urvashi about um, nutrition and gut flora and balance. It is a really important element of any natural health program because your gut flora and your digestive system has a, um, can create an enormous amount of inflammation and problems throughout your whole body. So since chronic health problems always have- You, you cut out again. Your audio is out again, Becky. We can't hear you. No, you're gone. Me. Wow. Now you're back in. Now I'm in. Can you hear yeah. me? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Great. Okay. Sorry about that. I was uh, talking about the gut flora and inflammation, and that I Urvashi also added that in as part of her program. It's, it's huge. You want to keep the inflammation down. You want to lower inflammation and addressing gut flora and the health of your gut is a super effective way of lowering inflammation throughout your body. So I know the cookies, the cake, the chocolate, the ice cream is, at least for me, that's my big hang up. It's very seductive and attractive. It's always calling to me. But uh, I try, whenever I get back on the program, I feel better, much better immediately. Part of it's mental because I'm so like paranoid of that stuff at this point. But uh, physically, yes, you also feel way better. It's a much cleaner system for your body, much cleaner foods for you. All right, let's try some um, energy exercises. These are gonna be particularly, and now I can't show you pictures because of copyright issues. The book I'm using is Stephen Crane's The Complete System of Self-Health, Self-Healing, Internal Exercises. It's a great book. It's full of all kinds of exercises. And the ones I'm going to show you today are particularly would be important for the um, lymph and circulation. Okay. Now, um, sorry, with, uh, okay, I'll talk about it here. Since the... When you're doing whole body vibration, if you're new to this, start slow. Remember me mentioning that before? Too much vibration too soon, and you will not necessarily feel better. You will miss some of the benefits, feeling those benefits, because it's too much detoxing too soon. 
and too much activating of your system. So if this is your first time, start with just a minute and uh, gradually build up. Start with a minute at the lowest speed. Gradually build up as your body can tolerate it. Always watch how you feel over the next 24 hours. And um, if you're feeling better or the same, the next day you can do a little bit more. Okay? So, um, all right. Let's start with something that's called a liver detox, liver energizing exercise. We're going to do this for about 15 seconds and go. You put your right hand here, right over your liver, and you're pushing across to the left side. All right? Like this. Now, if you're doing it with your vibration machine on, you're focusing extra energy into this process. And it's helping push the toxins out of your liver. This is the, the bile duct or the duct going out of your liver is going this way. And it's helping to push the toxins out of your liver. All right? And energize your liver. Next is going to be kidneys. You can do these for longer when you're doing it yourself. Maybe 30 seconds each at least on your vibration machine. But on your vibration machine, like the book says, do it for 10 minutes maybe. You don't have to on the vibration because you're getting such a huge focusing and energizing effect. All right. The next one is kidneys. Now you're going to rub where your kidneys are on your back, which is right about here. Lean over a bit and rub that area. And then do sort of circular motion with your fists on that area. And finally, you can thump that area. All of this is sending energy into your kidneys, helping to strengthen them and get them working well. Okay. Now, um, we're going to do energy meridian activation. And you start with your first one. Your energy meridians run up and down your arms and your legs. And at the same time as activating our energy meridians, we're going to be encouraging circulation and lymph movement. Because you, into your, your arms, sound is diminished a lot. It's not out, but it's diminished. Sound has gone out. The sound again. is not is diminished. It's not out, but it's it's very low. Sorry, folks. I don't know what's wrong. Just follow along if you can't hear me. We're going to be doing energy meridian, and I'll show you rubbing, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So you start at the top on the inside of your arm. You go down to your hands, and then back up on the outside. Okay, down on one side and up on the other. You're encouraging the movement of lymph and blood through your arms all the way down to your hands and back. And then you do the other arm, right? Okay, very good. And then you're going to do your legs also, okay? You start on the inside of your legs down by your ankles and you come up the inside of your legs and then down the outside of your legs. And up and down and up and down, right? Okay, very good. Now, we'll do one more. Down and up, okay. Um, now the crane exercise, oh, lungs, sorry. Lungs. We should, lungs is another detox organ, so let's do lungs. Okay, to do the lungs, you're going to put your hands behind you and breathe out all the way. Right? Okay, and then you're going to breathe in and move your arms around in a big circle. All the way to the back. Keep breathing in. And then... Exhale completely with your arms behind you. Actually, you know what? I've done that wrong. Breathe in with your arms behind you. Sorry. Because if you have with your arms behind you, you're pulling your uh, lungs open more. You're helping to open your lungs up. So, and then you breathe out with your arms going around. Ending up with your arms behind you and then breathing in again. And out. In and out.
Okay, one more. We're going to do another animal one. This is the crane exercise. And uh, the crane exercise, that last one was part of it in a way because it's about lung exercising and it's also about circulation. So uh, first part is a one where you place your hands on your abdomen and you breathe out. You're pushing in, push, pushing air out. And then you... Focus on breathing back in, but it's your abdomen that expands primarily, bringing air deep into your lungs, which usually are not being used effectively. Usually we're breathing with our chest more, but we're kind of missing the lower part of our lungs. So we're trying to encourage breathing into the deeper lungs, and that's massaging your... Just to let you know your voice is gone again. Okay, just follow along back, back. and pushing out. Now I got a really challenging one for you. This is the crane standing exercise. This is great for the circulation, according to be good for what we're talking about today. So we're going to give it a shot, but it is not easy. Um, and it would be really helpful if you have something to hold on to. If you don't, try this sitting down, okay? Because it is kind of hard. Or with your just your foot uh, not actually off the plate. Most. Um, first, you take your foot. The crane, you know, stands on one leg. So he's got to have great circulation. And um, you want to slowly rub your foot against your leg, going further and farther up, all the way up to way up here by your thumb thigh at your hip almost if you can do it and then you rub your foot the sole of your foot see i need to grab this occasionally so sit down do it sitting down if you need to there's no problem with that all right you rub your foot just imagine you're standing as a crane and then ideally if you can this is the really hard part you stand on one leg we're doing our balance exercise now and put your hands above you like so Okay, you're a crane standing in the water with one leg with fabulous circulation. Okay, the other leg. So now you rub your leg with your heel and your sole. You go all the way up to your thigh as high as you can. Rub your foot to encourage circulation in your foot. And <coughs> stand on one foot with your leg way up there. Not easy. Okay. Whoa. Tipping over. Okay. There we go. There we go. And you are a crane. All right. Those are energy, actually, energy exercises today. And Andy, let's um, start the regular workout. The regular workout, we are going to be working out, but we're also going to do some special exercises with, um, for massage, extra massage and stretching. We always start with stretching. Do your leg stretching. This is good for your leg. Remember Urvashi talking about stretching being good and important? Yes. So let's do two minutes of stretching starting now. Okay. Now, if you are not doing a whole lot of vibration because you're just getting started and you haven't worked up to a lot of time yet, it's fine. Just keep exercising. You can do it on your plate if you want. Just don't turn the plate on all the time. And I'm going to do the other leg. You can even do it on the floor if you don't have a plate yet. But if you do have a plate, you're going to be getting huge extra benefits. So I highly recommend you get a plate. All right. And uh, I'm going to do the um, hamstring stretch, which is great for your back. Okay. Uh, like that. And pull your head in a little bit if you can. Slowly go up and unroll your spine, every part. Do some back exercises and arm at the same time. One side, the other side. Feeling good, right? And some more stretching here and here. Okay, excellent. Great job, everybody. Great job, okay. Let's see, what's next, Andy? Whew. All right. Oh, we're supposed to be active, doing our active break because we're also doing um, 
interval training at the same time. And that means working out for 30 seconds and then active breaks. So now we're going to do the beginner pose. Makes it harder if you pull on the straps. We can do that. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. Then we're going to do about a minute of uh, active break. And then back to working out. We're going to alternate. That's interval training. Okay, and go. All right, 30 seconds of doing the beginner's pose, which is a little bit of a squat. Don't let your knees go past your toes. You can hold on to the handle if you need to. You can pull on the straps if you want to make it harder, which I'm going to give myself as big a workout as I can. Great to work hard, guys. Let's get your blood going. Best medicine here, folks is preventative. Don't get sick. Do your vibration. Try to eat well. Get some exercise and have a positive attitude, energy. That, and the vibration will help you. Let's do some homeopathy. All right. Active break. Keep walking while you're moving, while we're waiting for the next one. Okay. Next one is going to be abdominal. We're all into keeping our bellies tight, right? And at the same time, look, there's a great uh, rear massage. <laughs> cellulite and keeping your rear end in shape also. All right, so the one on the left is the easy one. Keep your feet on the ground if you need to. The one on the right, much harder. She's uh, working, she's got her feet up in the air, right? And if you can straighten your legs, it'll make it even harder. Okay, ready? All right, everybody get in position. I'm going to do my legs up, but I'll show you the down one is like this. And to make that a little bit harder, you could go back and forth like this, back uh, up and down. All right, ready and go. Okay, 30 seconds with your machine on if you can and try to straighten your legs and close that V up as much as you can. That makes it harder. Okay, good. Good job. Whew. All right, working hard. No, there's no lazy people here, right? We are taking care of our bodies and looking beautiful and feeling great. Beautiful inside and out. Okay. Whew. All right. Keep moving. Active break. All right. I'm walking. Walking fast, but not too fast. So this is a bit of a break. All right. Now we're doing squat, um, lunges. One on the right side. Uh, the one on the left is a little bit easier, actually. Um, pulling on that strap. If you were not holding your hand, especially uh, on that on your leg is quite hard um and if you need to you can actually hold on to something that would make it easier all right so for, we're going to do uh 30 seconds one leg and then 30 seconds the other leg and then we'll break after that okay so we got a, a one minute exercise coming up all right i'm going to do one where i'm pulling up with a strap everybody getting in position Okay, whoops, I'm losing my balance. Okay, and ready, go. Okay, so 30 seconds, this is gonna be hard, 30 seconds on one leg. You bend your leg and put more weight on your front leg, it gets harder. And pulling on the strap makes it harder. Easier would be holding on to this balance. And if I can manage to keep my balance without putting this hand on my leg, then that's gonna be harder. Okay, 30 seconds, good job. Great job, everybody. Okay, and switch to the other leg. Okay, and go. All right, nice. All right, keep going. 30 seconds, we're almost, well, we're 20 seconds right now. Keep going. Oh, you know what? This is good for your rear, too, and I can feel it there. How about you? Can you feel it? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Whew. All right, active break. Keep moving. Everybody get Good. All right, next one. All right, more abdominal exercises. We are going to have tight tummies. All right, so um, by far the easiest one here is the one at the bottom. She's sitting. And you can push yourself forward and back. Um, and the one at the top, these are we're doing now, um, actually, uh, oblique, I think it's called, abdominal exercises, where you're getting the sides of your belly. So shit, that's 
Got one knee and one elbow trying to touch. Okay, and then we're gonna switch and do the other. First, we'll do 30 seconds one way, 30 seconds the other way, okay? All right, here we go. Uh, and get yourself ready. Let's see. What am I doing? Okay. Oh, yeah, I can't do it. Oh, hmm. all right, here we go. So this hand is down on the ground. This elbow touching this knee, and I'm leaning over to this side a little bit. When you do this, you have to kind of do that to get it. All right, and go. All right, we're going to hold this for 30 seconds, if you can. Okay, good. Whew. 30 seconds. I suppose we should take, you know what, we better take a break in between, because a lot of the muscles are the same. So we're going to do an active break after 30 seconds of this. And maybe we'll just stay right on our plates for 30 seconds. You don't have to keep, turn them off. All right, that was 30 seconds. Now just take your active break walking like this. Whew. Hope you're feeling good, getting a good workout, right? And gorgeous weather here at least. So after this, maybe even more exercise. All right, and keep going. 30 seconds now. All right, now get yourself in position for your other one. Take a little break there because you're using your belly. All right, and go. Using the same, very similar belly muscles, and that would get pretty tough to do uh, an entire minute. All right, so hang on. Keep hanging on. Good, try to touch that elbow to that knee, and it's basically almost impossible. I can't do it at least. Keep going. You're getting a lot of vibration on your rear, your butt, which is terrific, right? Okay, keep going. Whew. Great. All right, okay, getting a good workout, everybody. Keep moving. You're doing your active break and uh, we've got some more exercises coming up. Let's see. All right, deep squat. If you can't do the deep squat, which is the one on the right, you can do another small squat, the beginner's position. That's just a little bit of a squat. See how she's got her legs much more bent in the right hand one. You stick your rear out to the end, back, like you're gonna sit on a chair and keep your knees lined up with your toes, but you do a deep squat that's a lot harder. And she's got her legs spread apart. It's a wide angle, wide stance squat. Okay, ready and go. Okay, deep squat. Okay, and if you want, you could go up and down. It's kinetic exercise. That would be a little bit harder. Um, there we go. Okay, I wanna see the clock. Okay, there we go. A little bit more. And good. Great job, everybody. Okay, keep walking. Active break. Here we go. All right. Next one's gonna be some arm and belly exercises. If you're doing the one at the top, which is, she's in a, in a push-up or plank position. You could also put your forearms down on the plate. And if you can't do a plank, like the picture on the top, then you can do the um, easy abdominal exercise below where you're sitting with your feet on the ground. Uh, notice on the top one, that she's got a straight line from her shoulders to her feet, okay? All right, everybody, get in position. And go. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna hold this for 30 seconds. And it's great abdominal exercise, which is going to help stability and strengthen your back, protect you from all kinds of problems. And even though we're focusing on legs and arms today, we're not gonna forget about the rest of your body. Okay, hold on. Good job. Very nice. Okay. Keep moving. Okay, what else we got? I think we just got a little, I think we might be up to the massages. Yes, all right, today, this is a new one. Because lipedema and lymphedema affect your arms and legs particularly, and circulation is in those areas that we can really help 
mobilize, get things moving. We're going to do massages. So any position, really, where you can get your arms on the plate is going to work. He, here's just a couple of um, options. But one of the things about these options is that she's sort of stretching her arms at the same time, and that will help. All right, so let's do 30 seconds of arm stretches and massages, and you can choose whatever position you want. I'm going to show a few of them. Ready? And get started. First, I'm going to do the back of my arm starting now. That feels good. I think I'm going to do both arms at once, like she was doing, like this. That's good. That's getting a lot of vibration into your arms. And then I'll do the other one. There we go. Like this. Okay. Whew. So, do you have problems with your arms, folks? You want to get more vibration into them? That's one thing you can do. All right. Now, here's um, the top. You can massage the back of your legs or the top of your legs by switching from your front to your back. It's pretty much the same otherwise. Let's try uh, 15 seconds of each. Okay. So, I'm going to start with the back of my legs. Actually, let's do 30 seconds of each, okay? So first, this is thighs. You're getting the whole body on there. And let's start. So 30 seconds. And this is very relaxing, but it's actually really good. It's working very much like a massage. Vibration is really the only modality that there is that is both a workout and a massage at the same time. Because automatically, your muscle fibers are tensing and relaxing. During the relaxing phase, it's like a massage. During the tensing phase, it's like a workout. Okay, now flip over gracefully, right? Very graceful. Uh oh, not so gracefully. Flip over and do 30 seconds on the front of your thighs, which feels fabulous after a big workout. And those muscles are tight and sore. Okay, go. 30 seconds this way. And uh, I'm just going to be on my elbows. It's a little more comfortable. Feeling that massage going through you. Okay. Really good, folks. Nice job. Okay. And the last one Andy's going to put up on the screen is calf massage, which is great because the further down you go in your legs, the harder it is for the blood and the lymph to move all that direction, right? So lie down and just put your calves on the machine. And we'll do this for another 30 seconds, okay? All right. Put your hands behind your head because it stretches everything a little bit and makes it a little more effective and go. And know that you did a really great thing for yourself today during your workout, your whole body vibration workout. You have just given yourself vibration, a workout, a massage, detoxing, relaxation, energy treatment, and uh, detoxing all at once. So uh, we have to take care of ourselves. Because nobody else can do it quite as well as you can. All right. And you have a big, exciting life ahead of you. So it's coming. It's coming. It gets better all the time, right? Okay. Build your life and take care of yourself. All right. Um, any questions? That was really wonderful, folks. Thank you so much for getting me out here and getting me doing this. It's great for me. Anybody uh, have I feel exercised? You feel exercised? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Good. Did Excellent. Becky, could you please show the book again? It was hard to sure. see. 
I know it is. It's really, there's a lot of glare when I try to show this. I'm trying to put it where, all right, I'll show you the top part. That's first. good. Well, yeah, the light, it's the complete system of self-healing. Exactly. The and, complete system of self-healing. And then it's internal. Then, can you see this part? Internal exercises by Stephen Chang. And make a note that it's the white book because he's actually written many books. Some of them are way thicker, a lot of text. This one has, no, you can't see it at all, but it is just jam packed with probably about 200 exercises, including all diagrams for all of them. So uh, it's very compact with exercises. And I do them, I mean, I love them because they, uh, I want to be on the, the vibration itself is unbelievably good for you. You really just cannot overestimate how fantastic it is for you, even if you're not feeling something immediately from it, but it is waking up your brain and your hormones and keeping you alive. It's really just shooting energy into you. So I, one of the reasons I love these exercises is just because they give me something to do on the machine that's kind of fun. And, you know, I got to develop a routine and I'm doing the animal exercises and I've got all these motions. It's not boring. I'm not just standing there, you know, twiddling my thumbs, getting bored. Uh, now, somebody asked a question. I saw a question. It was, uh, is there a difference between lipedema and cellulite? And yes, there is. Definitely. Um, cellulite is when the uh, skin has lost some of its integrity and the layer of fat below it kind of bulges out through not really holes, but the skin is got a collagen. There's a, I think it's collagen element that creates sort of like a, a, a matrix, a lattice like a fence, like a chain link fence sort of. Um, and it holds the skin together and gives it a lot of integrity. And then on top of it, and then, you know, ab above it, of course, there's a lot more. But w as we get older, the um, collagen weakens and the strength and the holes between the links get bigger and the whole thing kind of isn't as strong as it was. And fat that was below it in the layer below the skin starts to bulge out through those links in the, in the skin integrity and, uh, backbone. Lipedema, so that's like a normal aging thing and it's going to happen to pretty much everybody, <laughs> so especially women, unfortunately. Um, but uh, lipedema is something quite different and I don't know a huge amount about it, but it's uh, an actual disease process starting and triggered by hormones, it can happen to women starting when they're hitting puberty. And it causes big fat deposits to end up being um, deposited primarily in the legs and the arms. So um, it looks like the person is really overweight and really it's more a matter of a hormonal problem, detoxing circular issue. And um, it can be helped as we heard from Urvashi by particularly vibration and homeopathy can help everything. So that's not a big surprise. Uh, but, um, and home and the whole body vibration can help almost everything, but it is, it's more, it's much more serious. Okay. Any other comments or questions or anybody? Um... I had a quick, uh, quick comment. Uh, this is Gay. Is that Gay? Hi, Gay. Yes. Hi. Uh, I have had a lymph has been one of my problems, and this session was so very helpful. Oh, I thank you so much. It was so encouraging. <laughs> I also wanted to say these poses that you have are are so um, just to see it is really so good. And one of the things I thought I just thought I have done that I thought might be helpful the little uh, poster that you that we all have probably um, I took mine to Kinko's and have them put it on foam board. It's really light. Yeah. I can stand it up anywhere, and it's helpful to see that while I'm uh, ungracefully trying to get my position right. So That's a great idea. And I've been doing that for years also. 
uh, I did, I do that with my poster and I hung it on the wall where my vibration machine is. And then when I do shows, I bring it, I always bring it with me for the shows. Um, but you know, you wouldn't have to do any of that. You could just lean it up against the wall. Right. The foam board is really light. There you go. Yeah. Wow. Look, it's framed too. That is, that is awesome. Oh, my, oh that's Doreen's. Yeah, nice. The, nice Doreen. Framed. I don't have, mine is just, uh, it's very lightweight on this foam board. <laughs> they do such a good job of it. So, uh, I, I affirm her picture of it being framed and so on. It's good. It's a really nice poster, isn't it? Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Well, you want to hear something funny? The model in the poster yeah. was actually the au pair for my nephews a couple of years ago. Um, and um, she was over here. We became really friendly. And she's this beautiful young woman who actually, before she became an au pair, was the runner-up for Miss Poland. <laughs> oh. And she just plopped in, in front of me and you know as here's somebody who is comfortable in front of a camera looks fabulous has a beautiful smile she's cute as a button and uh, I was like I need to make I need to take some photos of her on the machine she's going to be my model <laughs> so. you are our model oh thank you thank you <laughs> I am um, I'm very inspired to keep going you know because uh, I know how much this has helped me. And really, honestly, I guess if I think about it, where I would be without all of this, not a, not a pretty picture. That would, I probably, I'm sure I wouldn't even be here, to be honest with you. But my life, it's a struggle. Everybody's got struggles in their lives. It's just, I think it's the way we're built, you know? No sooner do you kind of reach a goal than you're suddenly, you're looking somewhere else. And I, I really want that over there. <laughs> it's never enough. So, uh, and it's just, it's a mountain. Life is a mountain you're climbing and you, you get to a higher point and, you, and it's good. You look out and you see things that you didn't see before and you, there's a sense of accomplishment, but you're not done. You're never done. There's always more. <sighs> Any more comments, experience? How's the uh, vibration going for people? Uh, anybody? Becky, I was just going to say that crane exercise, I was very impressed how you got your foot way up there, girl. I mean, I was working at that and working at that, so I'm not quite up there yet. So You should see the picture in the book, Doreen. It is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> her foot, the foot is like up by her hip, right, right about oh, where her hip well, is. That ain't happened. Well, I shouldn't say that. That's not positive. I'm going to work on that, Becky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can get there. But it's a work in progress. Because I was over here going, I have one really ridiculous looking crane right now. <laughs> it's really hard. And uh, you got to, it's good to hold on to something. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Thank you. There's a, okay. Thank you, Jean. So glad you could join us. She's got to go. And um, I guess that is because we have, had another fun hour, or as Click and Clack used to say on uh, Car Talk, you've wasted another perfectly good hour. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. It's a, great job. it's a great thing. It was uh, great to see y'all. Hope you'll have a great week. Let me know if you have any questions. Go ahead, comment on um, Facebook. Post on there if you want your comments, and uh, I love communicating with you any way you can. All right. You have a great, great week. Bye, Judy. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye Becky. Bye, Doreen. Hear you.